with your first with the grain pass done, it's time to move on to the two across the grain passes. So before each pass, make sure that you rinse off your face. Make sure you get your face good and wet again. You may be feeling some rough patches when you do this. Don't worry, you still have two passes to go. With your face wet, still add a little bit of water to the face of your brush. And when you're lathering for the second and third passes, I recommend that you use more of a painting motion to be a little less vigorous. You've already made a pass over your skin with the razor. You may have been using more pressure than you think. Um, and if you do already have a bit of razor burn starting, this won't help. Other thing to note is that if you have a new boar hair brush or maybe a more prickly lower grade hair badger brush, if you are too vigorous with the brush, you can give yourself something known as brush burn where you're just irritating your skin. All right, time for the across the grain pass. So I'm now going to start. I'm going to shave across so my hair again grows down and then turns out towards my ears. So here I'm going to shave down a little bit in towards my nose and with each stroke I'm slowly turning the razor a little bit and I'm going to shave in here. Now you can either rinse the razor when one side becomes clogged with soap and hair or you can simply turn it over shave with the other side until both sides are full and rinse it then but the key is to rinse it often. So I'm going to shave the other side now down you can use your ear to tighten up your skin a little bit. You can see I'm turning the razor. Again, I'm shaving with no pressure. I'm only shaving where there is lather and I'm not making repeat passes over the same skin. So I'm gonna shave up here, which is across the grain. I'm going to turn because the pattern is different. You need to really take a good careful look at your hair growth. And don't just blindly assume that it grows north or south. In fact, in many people's cases, the hair will turn different directions. So I'm going to continue to shave up. The bottom of the neck is a very sensitive area for many men. So in this case, I'm simply going to continue to shave with the grain. I'm going to shave out in this case. And this is the only area where I'm going to shave against the grain simply because of how fine the hair is. I'm going to use my tongue to push out my lower lip. So I've shaved over, done a complete across the grain pass, and you need to stop right there. If you have a pass complete, don't keep going over the patches of skin again. You're finished. So for your third pass now, you're going to go across the grain but in the opposite direction. So rinse off again. Make sure your face is getting good and wet. Take your brush and remember to add a little bit of water to the face just in case it's been drying out a little bit. If at this point you find that your brush simply does not have enough lather for a third pass, there's no reason not to go back and reload a bit of soap. It's not like you only get one chance to load your brush with soap. That's ridiculous. You can go back if you need to. You should also know that there's probably a lot of lather stuck inside the brush. So let me go ahead and start painting it on again. And again, I'm being gentle. And you can see this is a thinner layer, but that's completely okay. As long as that lather is still good and slick, you do not need a huge thick layer of lather. You just need a good slick layer of lather. If you have lather stuck at the end of your brush or in your brush, you can simply squeeze it gently and then reuse that lather again. All right. Third pass, rinsing off my razor again. Now in this case, I'm going to shave up where I shaved down. I'm simply going to be doing an across the grain pass, but in the opposite direction. So for me, where I shaved down, I'm now going to shave up. And 
not in exactly the same angle. I'm slightly turning in towards my nose. Where I shaved in, I'm now going to shave out. Again, I'm going to shave up. No pressure. Only shaving where there's lather. And no repeat strokes. Very tempting to keep going over the same patch of skin, but really try to avoid that. So now where I shaved up on my neck, I'm now going to shave across the grain by shaving down. I'm going to slightly angle the razor in just to change the angle a little bit. Across there. And on the bottom of my neck, just because it is sensitive, I'm going to continue to shave with the grain. Where I shaved out, I'm now going to shave in. Still, no pressure. Maintain the angle of the blade. I'm going to go against the grain, only this one spot again. All right there. And that's it. Your second and third across the grain passes are done. Stop right there. Resist the urge to keep going because you may well feel that there are patches that are a little bit rough or there's a bit of stubble left. Leave that for the next time you shave. Each time you shave, you'll get a little bit better at maintaining the angle, at building your lather, at controlling your safety razor. But it's really important to know when to stop. If you keep going and keep shaving over the same patches of skin, you're absolutely guaranteed to get razor burn. And what you're looking for is a close, comfortable, and an irritation-free shave. And that's what I have right now. Done. So, your shave is complete. It's now time to move on to the post-shave and cleanup.